Chopping folk ain't as easy as chopping wood. It's not that different. Trust me. Hello everyone and welcome back. Last time, Henry managed to save your hunker from a tongue lashing by the bishop. It could have been far uglier, but Matthew, your hunker and Adela would be joining Prince Labitz when the monastery shuts down the infirmary. Their medical skills would certainly be useful in the restored village, especially with the ongoing banditry in the province. But speaking of bandits, it was high time that Henry scouted the encampment at Branyuk. He'd been sidetracked for far too long with the rigmarole at the monastery. It may have been the Virgin Mary's will, but that wasn't stopping the bandits. He first reported to Sir Hanush and Sir Radzik though. Captain Bernard's lessons about that at Neuhof had been well drilled into his head and someone needed to know, just in case something happened and he couldn't come back. But that wasn't gonna happen, was it? Sir, I have news, and I'm sorry to say it's nothing good. After everything that's happened, you have even worse news. That's almost impressive. I'm afraid so. It's going to happen again, and on an even bigger scale. You're full of good cheer, aren't you? What exactly will happen? It seems the Pribislavitz encampment was just the start, and they're far from defeated. How did you find out? I found a recruiting agent who worked for them, and let him recruit me. Ah, God's holy hat! You never cease to surprise me, lad. And what did you find out? They have another much bigger encampment in Vranik, near to Sassau. What do those bastards want? And who the hell are they? To hurt us? Conquer the region? I'm not sure yet, but I can find out. How? I'm one of them now. I have their secret sign. I know where their camp is. All I have to do is go and take a look. That's out of the question. It's too risky. Sire, compared to everything I went through to get this, it will be child's play. I already passed their test. They trust me. Then we'll have to attack them before things get out of hand. Ideally, right now, when they're not expecting us. Once we catch that mangy little shit, we can ask him nicely what he wants. But then again, before we attack, it would be useful to have a spy go and scout out how many of them there are and what they're up to. I don't want you to take any unnecessary risks. It's much less risky than our raid on Privis Lavitz. All right then, Hal. Go there and find out how many of them there are and what their plans are, whatever you can. But don't stick your neck out too far. Yes, sir. Godspeed, lad. And he dug into his chest of goodies for the most ragged pieces of nondescript armor he could find. Not too bad, even if he said so himself. Wait here. Nobody would recognize him, despite not wearing the straw hat of stealth. Stay. Martin and his horse had to stay back at the inn, unfortunately. The board had clearly seen a lot of restoration work, particularly to the perimeter palisade. The bandits had also cleared the trees that might mask any approach. Seems they'd learned the lesson from Prince Sabbats. What do you want? What is this place? What's going on here? The Imperial Short Wool Sheep Fair. Have you got a sheep? Uh, no. Then bugger off! Before you get hurt! <laughs> Alright, so these bandits have no sense of humor. You're here again? Let me inside. Inside, eh? What's the password then? I came here for a game. Show me that. Aye. Alright. Welcome to Vrani, comrade. Thank you for your kind welcome, comrade. Who should I report to? Eric. He should be in the house, at the top. The camp was very large, much larger than Prince Slavitz had been. A quick climb to the top of the horse stall allowed him to take it all in. There was an upper section with a ruined farmhouse and an inner palisade. In the lower area, there was a mass of tents, many grander than you'd expected to find here. This wasn't a bandit camp, this was a small army. What goes it? Not bad. I've only been here a few days, but I ain't complaining. Food, booze, and good company. Well, company. Hey, I'm new here. Can you tell me what's going on? This way it looks like boozing. What else is there to do? Some stupid fuck is trying to keep up their fighting form, but why bother? This kind of force. We'll go through any opposition like a knife through butter. Have you heard anything about what we'll be doing next? Of course. Early tomorrow morning there'll be a big sortie. Everyone around here knows that. How did you end up here anyway? Me? You're a bit green around the gills, aren't you? Me? 
I'm right at home here, see? Whenever the lords are fighting each other, you'll find me and my trusty sword on one side or the other. <laughs> Whichever pays best. Early tomorrow morning, that didn't leave much time. Better hurry up and report. The bandits were a mixed lot, but there were plenty with armor equal to that of a guardsman. Those tents were pretty impressive. Should I stay at home? These fellows aren't poor for us, that's for sure. No Kumans this time though. Maybe they felt those tensions weren't worth it a second time. You haven't seen me wielding the axe yet. All I'm saying. So what? Chopping folk ain't as easy as chopping wood. It's not that different. Trust me. I used to be a butcher. You're better off with a flail or a mace than an axe. If you give it a swing, it'll do as good a job as that axe of yours. Mm -hmm. Or learn to wield the sword. And who's here? That's Vanyek, the mercenary that had taught Henry the basics of swordplay back in Scalots. That seemed a lifetime ago now, but better not run the risk of being recognized. Hmm, the wall here isn't too high. Not only strong outer walls, but inner ones too. This isn't good news. This must be where the commanders are. And there's also a rat too. Zbizhek was here. Better not linger around too long in case he saw him. He hadn't been a previous slavitz, so that must mean that this camp had been in the works for a while now. There's a few chests with goods that the bandits must be stashing away from each other. Can't trust anybody when you're all thieves. What do you want? Kozlik sent me. Ah, more reinforcements. You're the one from the monastery? Yes, sir. So you really killed that turncoat? Yes, sir. Well done. I heard about you, and quite honestly, I didn't think you'd succeed. So can you handle a sword? Yes, I know what I'm doing. Well, I think it's best if we put you to the test. Go to our combat master, Vanyek. He'll soon find out what you're made of. Just go downhill, as far as the stockade. His tent is right next to the training arena. All right, sir. That was the leader of the camp? He didn't seem as fearsome as the bandits in Brimslavitz had made out. He was supposed to be more fearsome than Runt, but he looked like a little boy playing dress-ups. Are you combat master Vanya? <laughs> Aye, that's me. What do you want? I'm Henry. Eric said you'd try me out to see how good I am with a sword. Ah, another greenhorn. Nice to see Koslik's doing his job. Mind you, most of the peasants he sends me couldn't fight a pile of manure with a pitchfork. Hey, don't I know you from somewhere? You look familiar. I've never seen you before in my life. Hmm, really? I'd stake my neck I know you from somewhere. Well, never mind. My memory isn't what it used to be. Too much drink. <laughs> or not enough. All right, let's see what you're good for. Ah! Ow! You didn't put up much of a show. Eric won't be too pleased. Oh well. At least they'll have another dung grubber to clean up the horse shit. Or maybe he'll stick you in a catapult and fire you back where you came from. Best not give himself away by doing too well. Henry had gained a reputation in the province as a fearsome fighter by now, and the whole point was to blend in as just another ragged bandit. Eric seems to have a guest, and a well-heeled one judging by the quality of his mount. Sir, may I... What is it? I went to the fight master as you ordered, and I... What's the matter? Lost your tongue? I think I know what's troubling the young master. He's surprised to see me here. And the feelings mutual. When did you start recruiting Radzik's people, Eric? Radzik? Indeed. This boy is very dear to him. And I expect he's looking for this? Am I right, young man? You bastard. Ah. 
He's coming round. I apologize for the discomfort, but it's for your own safety. And ours, of course. You can count yourself lucky, lad. I'm gonna keep you alive. I'm sure your father will pay a nice fat ransom for you. My father's dead. That lucky of yours wouldn't even let me bury him. He doesn't know, Eric. Nobody told him. They told me, a foreigner, but not him. How very inconsiderate. I'm sure you'd rather hear it under different circumstances and from someone else, boy. But beggars can't be choosers. Your father, your real father, is alive. You even know him. It's your liege lord, Radzik Kobela. Although, how much can he really care about you? Here you are, a homeless orphan, and he still hasn't acknowledged you. Your parents are both dead, aren't they? I thought so. And yet, Radzig still hasn't told you the truth. Could it be that he's ashamed of you? Hmm. I wonder if you'll want to pay that ransom after all. Well, best not think about that. If your father won't pay your ransom, you have no value to me. My father's dead! I understand why you feel that way. My own childhood was not dissimilar. How strange that we should have something in common. But I've delayed long enough. Now it's time for you to tell me why you came here. I was looking for my father's sword, which was stolen by a certain bastard. And I found it. But I wonder which father you mean. In a way, it belongs to both. It doesn't matter who it belongs to. I'm going to kill you with it. Ah! You're hardly in a position to threaten me. But now I think of it, why not? When your father, your real father, pays, I'll give you an opportunity to try. I think that's very generous of you. Isn't it? <laughs> Radzik will cross you. And I'll be there to see it. <laughs> I very much doubt it. You spied on our camp. You must realize that your father hasn't a fraction of the forces I've gathered. And now, with the king in captivity, there's no one to levy troops to come to your aid. <laughs> Even united with Hanush and Divish, your father couldn't raise more men than I have. The only force in this country capable of defeating me is Sigismund's. And he pays me. When he wins, I win. Everything I take now will be mine. And I plan to take everything. So meet the new lord of the realm. A man like you will never rule here. Ah. Have you never heard of Lord Sokol of Lamberg? Or Sir Hinek, the dry devil? They fought for your king and plundered the estates of the lords in Austria, just as I'm doing here. Like they say, the stronger dog fucks the bitches. And war is a nasty business. Sir, it's time. Now, I'm afraid I have more important business to attend to. I'll leave Udo here to keep you company. And let's hope for both our sakes that your father pays up. Farewell. Rotten hell! <laughs> Knock some manners into him, Udo. Come on, Eric, let's go. We've got work to do. <laughs> Henry, wake up. Can you hear me? Jesus, that brutally works you over. Here. Try to drink. I thought you'd never come round. How do you know my name? Don't you recognize me? Vishek, you fucking traitor. You throw me to those bastards and then look me in the eye like nothing shh, happened. Shh, shh, be quiet. Maybe we started off on the wrong foot. But I'm your only chance to get out of your life. 
So do you want my help or not? What do you want? I want to get you out of here. But if you'd rather, I can leave you to rot and get the shit kicked out of you by Istvan's bruiser. Why would you, of all people, want to get me out of here? I've got my reasons. If not for the good of my soul, then for the good of my purse. It'll cost you a few groschen, and that's all you need to worry about. You shouldn't look a gift horse in the mouth. Shouldn't I? Even when it comes from a treacherous bastard who set his cutthroat friends on me when I was trying to bury my parents. I won't deny we didn't get off to a very good start. But this is a chance to start over and let bygones be bygones. So what exactly are your reasons? Nothing you need to care about. Let's just say it's a personal matter. But I do care. I don't believe a word you say. I know you're up to something. So you'd better try harder to convince me, or I'm not going anywhere with you. Not a day passes without these cutthroats pulling daggers on each other. And I'm the youngest, so they make a slave out of me. <laughs> a bandit's life isn't quite how you imagined it, eh? My heart bleeds. But you could easily make a run for it on your own. Why bother with me? Look, I just want to live a normal life. For that, I need peace and some coin. You need to get out of here, and you've got coin. My help won't cost you a tenth of what Istvan would want from Sir Ratzik. Why shouldn't we help each other? How do you propose to do it? Finally, we're getting somewhere. I know a way you can get out of the fortress without anyone seeing you. I'll untie you, and you'll have to make your own way there. It shouldn't be hard at this time of night. I'll wait for you outside. Afterwards, you'll tell your noble father I helped you so they don't hang me. And naturally, you'll pay me something for the risk I'm taking. Risk? Sounds riskier for me than for you. Not really. What are they going to do with you if they catch you? They want to ransom you, so the worst they'll do is lock you up again. But me, who was supposed to be guarding you and let you escape? Nobody's going to pay no ransom for me, friend. What about my possessions? Eric has your things. It would be suicide to try and get to them. Forget them. Oh, wonderful. So I'm supposed to make a run for it like this? It'd be better if you wore something to blend in, it's true. But I can't go and get you anything. I'm supposed to be guarding you. So if I leave my post, I'll have to avoid the others just the same as you. All right then. Let's get out of here. Untie me. That's what I want to hear. But first, swear you'll tell Sir Ratzik I helped you. And that you'll pay me too. You have my word. What's the plan? All right, I'll have to trust your man of honor. Now listen, I found a place where you can easily get out. Down in the camp on the slope above Sasau, there's a place where they throw the waste over the wall. The pile of shit reaches almost to the top of the stockade. All we have to do is jump over and we'll have a soft landing. Then we're free. Free and covered in shit. So that's all. Well, first, we both have to get there. We can't let anyone see either of us. I'm supposed to be guarding you and you're... Well, I'm supposed to be guarding you. So we have to keep to the shadows and stay away from prying eyes. I'll go first. There shouldn't be anyone outside in front of the barn. When you're out, go left along by the wall. There are cliffs everywhere. So try not to get yourself killed. I'll wait for you not far from the camp, by the dead tree between the path and the brook. Good luck. Yes, Henry had seen that gap in the wall in the pile of manure. Eric's rooms were locked, but Henry remembered the bandit's stash. There were some lockpicks there. Normally Zbizhek would be right that this was crazy, but Eric had left with Toth to oversee whatever they'd been planning, so the rooms were bound to be empty. One of the chests had Eric's personal belongings, but the other had Henry's gear. The plans in the room didn't give much away, but there were plans for a fortification of some sort. Maybe there was a third fort around. Going out the front would be suicidal, so Henry decided to jump down from the inner palisade instead. The best path to the battlements was through the gap between the buildings to the rear. There was a guard there, but he was looking in the other direction so Henry could safely climb and drop down before he was seen. One of the bandits had stashed a Nighthawk potion, and what better time to use it than now? 
He advanced by hugging the inner wall to avoid the patrols and making his way down the rear of the outer palisade. Sakura. The two guards were still there. He couldn't hear much of the conversation, but Let's Go stood out. Talk about a lucky break. He made his way to the gap and jumped down without a sound. With the amount of light that the camp gave out, it was a wonder that they remained undetected until now. Zvizhek was where he promised. You could leave him behind, but Henry had given his word. So, we're out. Now it's time for you to keep your part of the bargain. Don't worry, I keep my word. But I have to go to Ratai and see my... my father. They took my coin when they captured me. Fine. We should get out of here as quick as we can anyway. Well, you'll have to help me. Somehow the massage I got from that big bastard didn't do me a lot of good. I don't suppose you have a horse hidden around here. A horse? <laughs> Actually, I didn't think of that. And on they limped through the woods for hours until Ratai came into sight. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments. Feel free to leave a like, subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified when new videos come out. See you soon.